Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about solving rational equations. We're going to solve this equation and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So if I was given this equation, x minus 6 over x is equal to x plus 4 over x plus 1. Well, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can combine these two right here, right? So when I want to combine the two, okay, I need to have the same base. So in doing so, having the same base, I rewrite 1 to be uh, something with x. So if I multiply it by x over x, and really that 1's like over 1, I would just get x over x there, which is equal to 1, but allows me to combine uh, these two fractions. So we have x minus 6 over x equals x plus 4, excuse me, over x plus x over x. Now that we have the same base, I can combine the two, giving me x minus 6 on the left over x is equal to x plus 4 plus x over x. Now I can multiply both sides by x, eliminating the x on the, on the right side and the left side, giving me x minus 6 on the left equals, well x plus x is 2x, 2x plus 4 on the right. So now let's go bring our x's together, so I'm going to subtract 2x on both sides, and I'm going to add a 6 to both sides. That leaves me with x minus 2x is a negative x equals a positive 10, divided by negative 1 to both sides, and I have x by myself here as a uh, negative 10. Okay, fantastic. So now we're going to check that. Check that. I'm going to plug negative 10 in for my x. So uh, we can rewrite the equation here. x minus 6 over x equals x plus 4 over x plus 1. Let's plug negative 10 in. So for x, we have negative 10 minus 6 over negative 10 equals negative 10 plus 4 over negative 10 plus 1. Okay. So now let's simplify that. Negative 10 minus 6 is a negative 16 over a negative 10 is equal to negative 10 plus 4, which is a uh, negative 6 over negative 10 plus 1. Well, 1 is really negative 10 over 10, right? So I'm going to write that to be instead of plus 1 and negative 10 over 10, same fraction. That allows me to combine the two fractions, give me negative 6 plus negative 10, which is negative 16 over negative 10, and we have negative 16 over negative 10. Now, of course, I know I can simplify both of these fractions, but I've already shown that they're exactly equal left and right. We can say we're done there. We've shown that. Check. We're good. Confirming that negative 10 is not an extraneous solution, but our real solution. So let's recap. We're given x minus 6 over x equals x plus 4 over x plus 1. Uh, well, I wanted to combine these two fractions, so in doing so, I had 1 multiplied by x over x. Um, essentially, which is just 1, but it allows me to have the same base here. So then I can combine uh, these parts together right here. Uh, these two fractions. Uh, so give me x plus 4 plus x over x on the right, and still x minus 6 over x on the left. Multiply both sides by x. Uh, eliminate the x's on the denominator on both sides. Give me x minus 6 equals, and then this side here, 2x plus 4 combined into 2x's. I then subtract 2x to both sides, add a 6 to both sides, give me negative x equals uh, positive 10, divide by negative 1, and I got x equals negative 10. I then check by rewriting my equation, plugging the negative 10 in, and simplify, simplify, simplify. And in doing so, the key thing here is that 1, I've turned into negative 10 over 10, so I can have the same base in the fraction, so I can combine them together. But my left and right hand side were equal at negative 16 over negative 10 equals negative 16 over negative 10. And I know you can make a plus a positive and simplify that to be 8 fifths, but didn't really have to. Left and right were equal now, 100% confirmed, exactly the same. Great, which uh, shows that we don't have any extraneous solutions. And our final answer is confirmed at x equals negative 10.